Hi everyone, my name is Miss Catherine, and for today's story time, we're going to be reading What Am I Feeling? by Dr. Josh and Christy Straub, illustrated by Jane Butler. Everybody knows that Sam likes to smile. He has the best jokes, he likes riding his bike, and he loves his dog, Copper. But one day, before school, Dad noticed Sam hunched over his cereal. How are you feeling, son? I'm fine. I just don't want to go to school, said Sam softly. I feel flippy in my tummy. It sounds like you're feeling afraid, said Dad. I don't know what I'm feeling, said Sam. Sam, what you feel matters, but it doesn't have to control you. Give each feeling a name. Giving each feeling a name helps you know what to do with it. Time for school, Sam. Mom called it's dress up day. Come get your costume on. And don't forget, today it's your turn for show and tell. Sam wasn't so sure about show and tell. Remember, his dad said, a feeling is just a feeling. It's not in charge of you. If you feel afraid, take a deep breath, name your feeling, and ask God to help you with it. When he walked into Mrs. Stewart's class, Sam felt flippy in his tummy. He felt stuffy in his head. He didn't want to talk. His cheeks felt hot and red. Hi, Sam, said his best friend, Hudson. Hi, Hudson. I like your costume, Sad said softly. Awesome. Astronauts are my favorite. I'm so happy today, Hudson said excitedly. Sam noticed that Hudson's feet were almost dancing and his mouth was one big grin. Sam then saw Alex in the block corner. I'm a pirate, Sam bragged, and I'm building the biggest pirate ship in the world. Ahoy, matey! Just then, astronaut Hudson came zooming by. Lost control and crash! Oops, sorry, Alex, Hudson said quickly as he zoomed off again. Alex clenched his feet, stomped his foot, gritted his teeth, and yelled, I'm so angry! My pirate ship is ruined! Sophie had seen the pirate ship fall. I'm sorry about your ship, Alex. Can I help you rebuild it? She said kindly. No, Sophie. I don't want your help. Alex snapped angrily. Sam looked at Sophie and saw tears in her eyes. Her smile became a frown, and he knew she was sad. Sam remembered that his, what his dad had told him. Sophie, he said, it's okay to feel sad. When you feel what you feel matters, take a deep breath, name your feeling, and ask God to help you with it. It's time for show and tell, called Mrs. Stewart. Today is Sam's turn to show and tell us about one of his favorite things. That's not fair, Jenny pouted. When will it be my turn? She crossed her arms, pouted her lips. Jenny, said Miss Stewart, I understand you feel jealous, but you can't let your feelings control how you treat others. How are you feeling, Sam? Said Mrs. asked Mrs. Stewart. I feel flippy in my tummy. I don't want to talk in front of my friends. Ah, uh, said Mrs. Stewart, you feel afraid. When I'm afraid, I take a deep breath and talk to God about what I should do with that feeling. Remember, everybody, a feeling is just a feeling. It's not in charge of you. That's what my dad says, Sam smiled as he whispered a little prayer and bravely stood in front of his friends. Today I'm going to show and tell you about my favorite dog in the world. Everyone meet Copper. The whole class squealed as Copper ran into the classroom. Sam told them all about his dog. He even ended with a funny joke that made everyone laugh. All his friends had learned a lesson that day about what to do with their feelings. Alex, I'm sorry about your pirate ship. I was so happy flying to the moon that I didn't think about how you felt. Can we rebuild it together? Hudson asked. Alex gave him a high five. Sophie, I'm sorry for being mean when I was angry. Will you forgive me? asked Alex. Of course, said Sophie. Sam, you were brave to share with us even when you felt afraid. 
Jenny said. I'm sorry I took my jealousy out on you. Sam smiled his biggest smile. Mrs. Stewart told the friends she was proud of them all. The rest of the day they paid more attention to what they were feeling. They gave their feelings a name and thought twice before they acted. They even started to think about what their friends might be feeling too. After school, Sam couldn't wait to get home. Mom, Dad, I had the best day. I figured out why I was feeling afraid this morning. I was afraid of talking in front of the class for show and tell. But I told God I was afraid and thanked him for my friends. Even though I was still afraid, I told them all about Copper. When I was done, I didn't feel flippy in my tummy anymore. Mom and Dad bear hugged him. We're so proud of you, Sam beamed as he threw Copper a ball. He liked what Brave felt like. Here's a chart of all of the feelings. If you notice on top, you see that Sam felt afraid. Hudson felt happy. Jenny felt jealous. Guilty, angry, sad, surprised, embarrassed, and brave are all feelings. And like his dad said, it's okay to feel feelings and your feelings matter. But when you feel sad or hurt, just remember to ask God to help you with those feelings so that they don't control you. Bye, kids. Okay.